Hi, my name is Joshua Fredenberg, and I'm a national speaker, author, and president of the Circle of Change Leadership Conference that specializes in leadership, diversity, inclusion, healthy relationships, emotional intelligence, resilient leadership, and generational diversity. Leadership is about others. Leadership is about making others better. Leadership is about developing others. Leadership is about celebrating others. Leadership is about bringing the best out of others. Leadership is about making the world a better place for others. That's what leadership is about. You're being empowered to change the world. You're being empowered to change your family, to change people around you, to change your community, to change your nation, to change your world. You're here to change the world. Someone say, oh yeah. For the past 13 years, I've had the opportunity to speak in 44 different states, three different countries, empowering emerging and seasoned leaders with information that helps them identify the greatness within, be more effective at leading diverse groups of people, and becoming a better leader that makes their organization and others around them better. We need leaders that not only know how to respect, not only know how to connect, not only know how to work with diverse groups of people, but they have an ability to bring them together under a common cause in order to make our community, our nation, and our world a better place despite the difference. Leadership is not just about how smart you are. Leadership is not just about your competence, although those are very important. Leadership is about people. Leadership is about relationships. Leadership is about re responding to people's problems and understanding how to deal with their emotions. Leadership is about uh, helping people get out of bad situations. Leadership is about helping people show that you care. In order to build relationships, you have to understand people. And there are certain things you will not understand about people until you get out your comfort zone and actually embrace and immerse yourself in their culture. Sometimes people react to you in a negative way, not because you're the bad person, but because they have issues on the inside. And instead of reacting to their issues on the inside, maybe what they're doing is crying out for you to help. Now I'm responding to your negative emotion with love. And love always overcomes evil. I'm not gonna let your attitude stop me from loving you. I'm not gonna let how you treat me stop me from loving you. This is leading with love. My definition of love from my lens is an ability to do good, to have compassion, or to treat people the right way despite how you feel or how they treat you. I've had a lot of incredible experiences on the road as a speaker. But the greatest moment for me is when someone has a light spark on the inside to take immediate action after my presentation and to go out and become that much more better as a leader and person in the world. There's a lot of people that talk about the different characteristics and the different perspectives and the different attitudes and, and all the different things about these different generations. We sometimes assume that millennials are leaving the workplace because they want to go somewhere and get paid more money. And they're like, no, some of the reasons we're leaving is because you are not giving us work-life balance, flexibility. Some of the reason we're leaving is because we can't dress the way we want to dress. Some of the ways we're leaving is because some people in the company uh, want to keep doing things they've been doing in the 20th century, not understanding that we do it differently now. And if we're not careful, we may be like Blockbuster and Netflix takes you out of business because you're not willing to adapt to the culture in which you're serving. Someone say perspective. It's your perspective. I want to know what your perspective is because what I've realized is this. I've realized that if we have the wrong perspective, if we have what I call these unconscious bias, if we have these fears, if we have these roadblocks as leaders, not only does it affect our relationships, not only does it affect how we lead, not only does it affect how we treat people, but more importantly, it affects your impact that you were destined to make. Because what I realized is I realized your perception affects how you treat other people. As a speaker, not only do I have the ability to deliver an amazing keynote speech, but I can also put together a transformational program for different diversity and leadership retreats and trainings. I often tell people the greater the challenge, the greater the opportunity. I often tell people when everything is coming against you, don't sit there and start boo-hooing and getting mad. Start celebrating because that means you're getting ready to come into something good because the challenge wouldn't be so great if you weren't coming into something good. Therefore, when I face the challenge, I don't focus on the challenge. I focus on the opportunity. I focus on the lesson. 
I focus on uh, the open door. I, I focus on the ability to get stronger. I focus on the knowledge. I focus on what I'm going to become by going through this challenge. Give me a call, send me an email, so we can establish a date and time to talk more about how we can work together to make a positive impact at your next event.